Hello everyone. Welcome to the story time. Do you know which story we are going to study today? Uh, today's story is going to be about a teddy bear. And we are going to visit a departmental store. So, but before reciting a story, we will sing a song. And the song is I like you, there is no doubt about it. I like you, there is no doubt about it. I like you, there is no doubt about it. You are my good friend. Yay! Now, now please everybody settle down, settle down. And I'm going to show you something. One, two, three. Ten, ten, ten. So, this is a little teddy bear. The name of the teddy bear is Hoodroy. And this teddy bear was there in the departmental store. In the toy section in, of a departmental store. So, the story is about the same teddy bear. And you can see here in his dress, he has even lost his one button. So, the whole story is that nobody likes him because he is old, not so good looking and even he has lost his one button. So, nobody wants to purchase him. So, he was all alone sitting sadly in the toy section of a departmental store and how one day he gets a lovely house and a lovely friend. So, Without wasting our time, let's start the story. So friends, do you know this wonderful story, Kudroy, is written by whom? It's written by Dawn Freeman. It's written and illustrated by Dawn Freeman. Illustration means all the drawing and the sketches in the book, which makes the book very lovely. So, let's start the story. Ready? Yay! Kudroy is a bear who once lived in the toy section of a big departmental store. Day after day, he waited with other animals and dolls in that section so that somebody will come one day and take him home. Then you know children, what happened next? The store was always filled with shoppers as you can see there there are so many people to shop all the new things toys fruits vegetable new clothes so good Roy used to sit in this section and used to wonder that somebody will come and take me home do you know nobody wanted to take this beer a little beer with green color overalls green color overalls are the green color dress which the Kudroy wear so nobody wanted to take this little bear with green color overalls one morning a little girl came you can see here a little girl a little girl came and she saw brightly into Kudroy's eyes she said to her mommy Mom, this is such a lovely bear. I always wanted this kind of a bear. But the little girl's mom said, Not today, dear. I am not having much money. I have already spent a lot of money on the things. Ah, as you can see, he doesn't look new. He looks pretty old and he has even lost his one button. Kudroy, the bear, watched them sadly as they went away. He looked at his dress and he said, Oh, I have lost one of my buttons. I didn't know. When did it happen? Tonight, I will go and try to find it in the store, said the Kudroy. Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone home, all the doors were closed and shut. 
down. Good Roy climbed slowly from his place and he came down and he was searching for his button everywhere in the departmental store and suddenly he felt floor moving under him and he accidentally stepped into the accelerator and he went up on the floor could you i wonder could this be mountain i always wanted to be on mountain he stepped off the accelerator and came on the next floor and before his eyes was a most amazing sight tables chairs lamps and sofas and a row of bed all around could roy hmm this could be a palace gasped could roy he wandered everywhere admiring all the furnitures and he was saying this bed is so nice i have always wanted to sleep on a bed and when he was admiring the furnitures he climbed on the bed holding the mattress of the bed and there he saw a round round button like things on the mattress could you wonder this is my button but what is it doing here could roy yanked and pulled the round thing from the mattress and pop pop came out the mattress button and could roy fall down on the floor and crack he hit his head on the lamp and the sound came of the lamp falling down on the floor bash bam the sound came bam the sound came of the lamp falling down the little could roy did not know that there was somebody else in the store and he was awake he was the night watchman in the store and he was doing his night rounds on the upper floor when he heard the crashing sound below him running 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 the night watchman came through the accelerator with his torch with his torch flashing all around and as the watchman came he saw the lamp fallen down and the watchman said now who did this there must be somebody hiding around i must look it carefully and the watchman started flashing his torch everywhere and searching who's there who's there while the watchman was flashing light everywhere on the lamps on the sofa under the chair and everywhere he flashed light on the bed and there near the biggest bed he saw two fuzzy ears two fuzzy fuzzy ears shining as if it was like a dog when he came near he flashed the light he saw kudroy there on the bed hmm the watchman saw kudroy on the bed and he said what are you doing here you must be down okay come with me the watchman tucked kudroy in his arm and took him down with him through the accelerator like this and then he placed him and then he placed him in the store where all the dolls on the animals were sitting to the kudroy's place the next morning kudroy was just waking up and he opened his eyes wide there was the first customer in the store with shining eyes she was looking at kudroy and she was that same little girl who came yesterday hey, i am lisa and you are going to be my very own beard 
Last night I counted what I saved in my piggy bank and my mother said that you can go and bring that beer home. Shall I put this in box for you? Asked the sales lady. Lisa said, no, no, thank you. I will take him in my arms. And Lisa hugged Goodroy and took him to his home. Happily, she came in her family apartment and she straight away ran to her room with Goodroy. Goodroy blinked his eyes and he saw a big chair, chest of drawers, a big girl sized bed and beside that bed there was a little bed a perfect in size for Kudroy so that Kudroy could sleep on it Lisa sat down on the chair with Kudroy on his laps and she started sewing the shoulder strap button of Kudroy Lisa said I like the way you are but you will be more comfortable with this button on your shoulder strap. Kudroy said, You must be a friend. I always wanted to have a friend like you. And Lisa hugged Kudroy and Kudroy also hugged Lisa. And Lisa said, Yes, I am a friend. Kudroy lived in Lisa's home happily ever after. Dear kids, you like the Kudroy story? Yes.